Okay, well, you're welcome back. This is a, another video in the uh, GDA series from Shaw Woodheat. And what we have working here is uh, one of our new 16x9 uh, decor range. And uh, this has just been installed. And just to take you guys a little bit through step by step what we did, obviously we had the, the oak prepared. And here you can see that the customer has left plenty of space, including a, an RSJ across the top to support the oak for the fire. You don't need to have it uh, this big, but um, this customer has decided to do so. It doesn't pose uh, any risk to the fire whatsoever and will afford uh, these people to reclaim a little bit more of the warm air. We've installed the unit on uh, its own legs and there are four legs, one in each corner, which will be uh, suited to whatever height the individual requirements for the, uh, the client are. Generally speaking, we don't really allow any more than around about 500, 450 to 500 mil from the floor up to the bottom of the fire. Aesthetically, you want the fire to look well when you're sitting down looking at it with um, sitting on a couch or at eye level. So here you can see the unit perfectly installed. This is its commissioning fire. This is not the first fire. The first fire you should always light should be a little bit smaller than this. This is the third. And uh, it's burning very, very, very well. There's plenty of oxygen in there. And we have a beautiful picture. Um, you can see at the top here we have a, a 200 mil spigot with a 316 grade flexible liner and we have an additional piece of warm air uh, fluing coming off the outside kit going up to a, a room upstairs and uh, that will provide heat to um, a dressing room I believe. Here the client has installed the fire without the use of a fan um, here so we're relying on natural convection but at a later stage one of the benefits with G-Day is that uh, at a later stage we can install a, a fan which can be accessed through the, uh, the fire itself and then mounted underneath the fire. It'll draw the warm air in through this duct that's been left, it'll move it around the inner and the outer skin, it'll pass it back into the room and then also if the customer requires up to the, the bedroom upstairs. So there you go, just a quick look from the other side, as it is a double-sided unit. Quick point, they've also left a power out, because at a later stage, if they do want to install a fan, they'll uh, obviously need some power and a switch to, uh, to operate that. This is the view from the other side of the fire, and again, you can see it's burning well. The, uh, the legs on either side, which have been tailored to suit the height for the uh, client's requirements. And uh, again, the flue... Um, the warm air going to the room upstairs and also on this side uh, we've left another RSJ above the unit. So there you go, um, a decor from G-Day, a 16x9 fire uh, with the lateral doors or hinge doors. Thank you very much for watching, bye bye.